Hello from Alpha Cars in Boxborough, Massachusetts. We have uh, this phenomenal bike and I have a pleasure of uh, trading it in and uh, interacting and, and speaking with the original owner, a great guy. Unfortunately, I haven't met him in person, but uh, he told me all about this bike. He owned it since brand new and he asked me uh, to make sure that I find a good home for it and a good owner. So we are certainly confident that uh, we're going to do so. And let me tell you about this bike. It's probably one of the nicest 2007s or even newer bikes you are going to find. Not to mention it has a gorgeous, uh, very uh, conservatively but striking color combination with the pearl white and with a tasteful, um, I don't know the fancy Harley name for it, but it has a tasteful like cobalt blue uh, lower uh, dual tone and with a black trim with a lot of chrome on this bike uh, it is absolutely phenomenal and for those of you that know um, Harley and accessories that are available please take your time and go through uh, the pictures not just this video but through the pictures that we have on our website and take a look at everything additional that comes with this bike that's already uh, you don't have to do it's already on the bike tastefully done by the original owner so w with the purpose of this video we're gonna show you uh, the condition of the bike yes it is in great condition but yes it is a 2007 there are minimal minor imperfections that we would like to point out for those that will not have a pleasure visiting Alpha Car showroom um, but with this video you will have a, a very clear idea and understanding uh, when you're considering the purchase of the bike, you will have an understanding of its condition. Okay, so let's start from the front of the motorcycle. And um, the bike has 11,542 miles. 11,542 miles. And I have, it has uh, two keys. Uh, we have a security system, key fob, it is here. And let's start from the front, uh, from the very front is the tire of the motorcycle it the tire is appears to be original so from the age standpoint this is the tire that you should consider replacing from the wear uh, standpoint it still has enough material um, left on it to be a safe tire on the road but from the age standpoint it's definitely it would be a reasonable consideration to uh, replace it at some point soon um, now the fender the painted surfaces of the fender are in perfect condition. Again, this pearl white is absolutely amazing. The chrome and stainless steel, this is actually chrome, but the continuation right here is stainless steel moldings in great condition. The brakes are in great condition. The rotors in, in, very, very good. Uh, definitely a, an indication of a not aggressive use. There's no discoloring. There's no, uh, there's nothing blue about this rotors. They're just uh, the metal color and our technician gave it a bill of health. Yeah, I can see brake pads there, actually close to like new condition. Uh, it starts to sprinkle a little bit, so we're gonna speed things up. Um, I always look at a lot of motorcycles that have aluminum forks. Um, this has minimal to no pitting. I can only see like one or two spots and it actually comes right off. So uh, th as I said, let's say there's minimal uh, pitting on the aluminum of the forks. It has nice caps, hardware. Uh, as I inspect the crush bars, there's no scuffing or scratching anywhere on it. Um, as we continue around the bike and go around the windshield, the plexi is in perfect condition. Chrome around the headlamp is in perfect condition. Lighting is in perfect condition. There's no pitting anywhere in the chrome. Lenses are nice and clear, all four of them. And of course the headlamp. As we get around the engine, what impressed me about this bike is it has 11,000 miles. It isn't a lot, but it is the mileage that the bike spent on the road. So previous owner did a great job of maintaining chrome. There's uh, no pitting or any type of discoloration anywhere in your typical areas of the heads, hardware. Uh, and by the way, all the hardware, as you can see, it's capped beautifully and nicely done. You can see with these cr little chrome things and the head uh, mounting, valve cover mounting hardware is capped as well. If you look at the chrome on the cylinders, there's no 
pitting on the edges, which is something very unusual, even for a one or two year old Harley that's been on the road for 10,000 miles. But this is a 2007. As I inspect, I don't know if the camera will get that low, uh, but let's, uh, let me tell you, I'm going over the underbody and I'm looking at the lower frame of the bike. There's not a one single scuff or a scratch anywhere. It's just like new. Uh, which obviously tells us the bike was never even bottomed out going over a curb or anything like this. Uh, the bottom side of the fender is nice and smooth as I'm checking it. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the lower parts of the foot boards are not scratched, which tells us the rider was that very accurate and definitely knew his bike when leaning and taking uh, turns. As we look inside the engine housing, there's no peeling of the powder coated finish. All the black stuff is where it needs to be. And the chrome is amazing. Uh, the air filter housing is just amazing. The side um, panel on the bike has no imperfections. The rear crush bar has no imperfections anywhere. The rear muffler has no scuffing or imperfections. A uh, leather bag has very little normal use. In fact, I'd be surprised if it didn't have that. It's got just like a little scuffing here because it's leather. Um, here is the here is the software package because this bike has a high performance uh, Screaming Eagle exhaust with uh, with a software package that's already on the bike. And it does sound great, we're going to show it to you. Um, so, the gas tank, the chrome is in perfect, pristine condition. All the chrome and stainless steel trim is in great condition. The controls, let's start from the left side. Uh, the chrome is holding up really good on the outside. There's a typical spot that I always check, and I'll point this out. Um, this has very minor chrome delamination on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see it, but take my word for it. It's really minimal. And I know you can see this. There's, there's a little bit coming out on the outside, but mainly it's on the inside, so you really can't see this. Um, that's one imperfection. The chrome handles are really good. There's no imperfections there. Chrome mirror is very, very nice. Let me look at it from the back side. Yep, it is very clean. The stainless steel is great on the steering bar. All the wiring, even the original tie downs, um, it, there's nothing off the market, nicely done. And what I noticed throughout this bike, like if I look at the hardware, it is, uh, it hasn't been overworked, I'm sure, and I know for a fact that it had all the maintenance done through the Harley Davidson network. Uh, but whoever was the technician, he also uh, did a great job with uh, making sure the bolts, the heads of the bolts remain original and don't have range marks on them. So let me turn this bike around and also do a quick road test to let you hear the bike. You really don't need to put the key in if you have a security fob with you, that's all you need. Uh, we have the bike in neutral. Very substantial machine. I like how the steering, uh, the steering bar placement, it, it really is one of those where it's nothing remotely obnoxious. It's just not overdone. It, it's great. I like the choice of the true metal, knurled metal with the rubber rings, uh, hand, hand grips, really nice. And the bike does have a cruise control. Okay, so we are starting the machine. Very nice and throaty sound. Very nice and throaty sound. We'll give it a minute to warm up. The temperatures are right now about, I would say, no more than 40. Uh, the same type of foot peg uh, imitates the knurled uh, hand uh, grip. Really nicely done. And uh, the same thing here.
clutch is exceptional it's so easy it's so easy to move around it's incredible very easy to balance machine very very easy to balance machine low center of gravity yeah That's the first gear, that's second, that's third, that's fourth. Back to first gear. Wow, great sound, obviously a ridiculous amount of torque from this engine. It's probably one of the best engines. Um, I know Harley's made a lot of improvements, but uh, I'd have no problem riding this bike all day long, day after day, month after month. It's a great machine. Well, let's uh, finish up overview, cosmetic overview of the bike from the performance standpoint. I know you will not be disappointed. In fact, you'll be very impressed with this bike. Okay, so we're covering the um, left side of the bike and we have a few happy customers over there. But um, as far as the bike goes, we covered the right side of the bike. It was mint. There was no scuffing or scratching or anything at all. Uh, and the same thing is true for this side. There was no different for the previous owner to take right hand turns or left hand turns. He was very, very careful and uh, the all undersides of the food boards are in very good condition. There's no scratching on the frame. There's no signs of bottoming out. And again, all the hardware on the bike um, has optional chrome caps. And the chrome is in amazing condition. Uh, the back sides of the forks, we commented on the front sides, but the back sides are in mint condition. The back side of the fender is uh, equally as nice. Uh, rear crash bar is in great shape there's no scratching or scuffing anywhere and uh, let's take a look inside of this leather bag it's actually a hard bag covered with leather uh, technically it's not like metal hard bag but it is uh, not just leather there's a, a hard uh, hard uh, housing inside and it is a true leather if you look at the underside you can see it's actually thick substantial leather you wouldn't expect anything less from Harley with uh, metal uh, plates and let's buckle this back together yeah okay and as we go around the bike and approaching the rear fender and the chrome detail in the back it's in great shape chrome is phenomenal uh, it looks like it will accommodate the rack that will go in the back. It has a nice uh, chrome plate for the license plate. Um, details in the back, chrome details in the back in great condition. We mentioned Screaming Eagle exhaust. We mentioned Screaming Eagle exhaust, uh, which is in great shape, but the tip, especially on the right side, you can see uh, a little bit of chrome flaking here and there. And you can get different tips, obviously, replacement tips. There's a hardware, three pieces of hardware. You need to uh, loosen up to remove this tip and change it. I would probably use a different one, maybe even something with uh, flat, uh, flat black or chrome. 
Um, all the suspension pieces in the back are nicely done. Uh, the rubber is not uh, cracking anywhere on the bike. Uh, let's look at the rear tire. The rear tire appears to be that it was replaced. Um, it doesn't have any surface cracking of any kind. But again, with tires on the motorcycles, you need to be very careful. Always look at the uh, date and condition of the tire. And as we go around this uh, right-hand side, we're pretty much wrapping up. We covered this side. We're going to take another quick look from top view down and show you the seat which is in great condition almost like new i don't see any imperfections anywhere again the gas tank is in phenomenal condition paint is nice and clear and again what's nice about this bike it just looks original it um, whoever worked on the bike did a great job retaining originality of the hardware and living leaving many minimal to no signs of wrenching on the hardware which is something Harley owners always appreciate so thank you very much for giving this bike a consideration and spending your time viewing our video from Alpha Cars and Ural of New England in Boxborough Massachusetts our website is alphacars.com and our phone number is 978-263-9000 thank you